Hey everybody, my name is Sunny. Welcome to my new bedroom. It is a little empty because I just moved in and that is why I haven't been putting up new videos for the past couple of weeks because I've been moving and it's just so crazy. But now I am ready and ready to get back to schedule. So I'll be putting up new DIY videos every Thursday. So this week, I am going to show you how to make this super adorable strawberry shortcake to celebrate the start of summer. And I made this using a kit that I bought, but I have recreated everything so that you can make this on your own as well. I will put the link to my blog where I'll have the templates that you need to make this strawberry shortcake. And let's get started. I bought this kit from Daiso when I was in Taipei. It came with instructions as well as all the materials you need, which is a few different colors of felt, thread, some fluffy stuffing, and Bristol boards. The first step is to cut out the patterns, and I have posted the exact same patterns onto my blog so you guys can download it and use it for yourselves. Once everything is cut out, place the pattern onto the felt and trace the shape. Remember to read the instructions I have included in the pattern sheet because you will need to cut different numbers of each part. I actually found it far easier to trace the pattern onto the felt before cutting it out. And now everything is ready. Let's start by making the strawberry. On the half circle, I am going to run a few random stitches to have it look like the seeds on the strawberry. I kind of look like a watermelon at this point. Then fold it in half on the wrong side and sew the edge together. Turn it around and sew along the edge. Stuff a bit of stuffing, then pull on the string to gather the edge, secure the end, and you have a little strawberry. Next, let's add a bit of detail to the cut strawberries using white thread. You want to create sort of a leaf vine pattern on one side, and do that to all six of them. Lastly, I will make these delicious whipped cream bits. Just connect the tips in order and you have yourselves tiny whipped creams. Remember to tie up the two ends. Okay, finally, it's cake time. Glue the yellow piece to the white base using some fabric glue. The instruction said to use craft glue or glue stick, but it did not work well for me. Then glue on the strawberry halves as well. Next, take the top piece and we are going to sew the side, the back, and the other side to it. Use the third side that doesn't have any yellow sticking to it for the back. Mm -hmm. 
Soap together the side edges as well. The cake is finally taking shape. We are going to reinforce the shape using some Bristol board. So place the top and two sides in with the white side facing out. Then sew the bottom on, leaving the back side open because we are going to put the stuffing through. And before you close up the back side, stick the backing for the bottom side into the cake. Lastly, decorate the cake by hot gluing the whipped cream and the strawberries onto the cake. And there you have it, it's a cute little decoration for your room or for your workplace. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and you will try to make this on your own as well. You guys are my rays of sunshine because you make me smile. Now remember to subscribe for new DIY inspirations every Thursday and I will see you all next week. Stay creative!